All right. Hello, Liberty. I am back with another 2020 Senior Spotlight. And today I'm here with me. Uh, but I can't interview myself. So I decided to let Gabby Fontana and Gavin Reset take over and interview me for this spotlight. How are you two doing? We're good. How are doing you? Well. <laughs> Good. Uh, for those of you who don't know, by the way, I chose them partially because they are our high school announcers in the morning, and that's a comedy show, so I figured this would be great. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. All right. Well, you two are in charge from here, and uh, I hope I can make it through. That sounds good. <laughs> All right, Fuentes, just to start out off the bat, uh, how is the shift to online school going from an educator's perspective? Um, it is difficult, uh, definitely. Um, I find myself to be a person who uh, works extremely hard while we are in school, and I'm involved in a lot of different things. But this definitely is the hardest I've ever had to work in my life because it's such an adjustment. Um, I use technology. Um, I use Google Classroom, but I have never had to work like this before. So, um, you know, I'm getting through and I, th I think I'm doing OK um, and making things available for my students. But it is um, really difficult. All right. So just because it's not a gradual process, you're just thrown right into this online schooling. That's why it's it's a little more difficult to, to get it into a, a smooth uh, transition for you. Yeah. I mean, you know, usually um, if we were going to completely change the format of something, um, we would have hours over the summer where we could work Um and even if we weren't getting paid for it, we, we would be preparing for it anyway. Um, but this was literally um, Friday, you know, was a conference day back in March. And they were like, get as much together as possible just in case. You know, that was before, before any orders were made by the governor. And a day or two later, we were told we're not going back on Monday. So you had basically three days to prepare so that we could jump in and not lose any um, any time with you. All right, great. So now we're going to switch it up. We're going to slow it. We're going to go into something a little less serious into the okay. this or that section. Um, the first this or that question we have is class of 2020 or class of 2018? Ooh. <laughs> wow, things just got real <laughs> um class of 2018 knows that i love them very much um and they were definitely a special group um you know i i i don't know that we had that group when i had them in geometry uh it was the first time we went to common core so you know that you want to talk about another moment where you had to adjust and like, you didn't know what the test was going to look like. So it was, it was, you were kind of flying by the seat of your pants. So maybe that's why we had the connection that we did. Um, but I will say, sorry, 2018, but 2020 is my class. Um, you know, <laughs> I've been, <laughs> I know you're both very excited to hear that. Uh, your, your siblings will not be, <laughs> but um it's, it's because we've been together the whole time. You know, you, I took you on as my, uh, I took you on as the advisor from the very beginning. Um, I remember being at freshman orientation and getting to introduce myself to you then. And we have been in it the entire way and now through something that none of us expected. So um, there's no doubt that your class uh, has a very, very special place that no other class could ever have. Awesome. <laughs> That's great to hear. Uh, just the next question. Coke <laughs> or Pepsi? Say it again. Coke or Pepsi? 
<laughs> um, if I am drinking, I usually drink diet. And when I drink diet, I prefer diet Coke. But if I'm drinking actual Coke or Pepsi, I prefer Pepsi. <laughs> Intricate answer. Intricate. Can't make things easy for you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the next, the next, this or that question is dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs all the way. Easy. Well, yeah, that's, that's an easy one. Harper, my little pup Harper would be happy to hear that that was my answer. <laughs> Here's a good one. Basketball or golf? Ooh. Um, yeah. That is tough. Um, can't give an easy answer to that because basketball is my passion. Um, I love everything about basketball. I love the intensity of it. I love the how competitive it is. Um, I love, as a coach, having to think about how you're going to um, change things for each opponent that you face. But on the other hand, golf – is one of the most incredible sports in the world. Um, and, you know, now I'm finally at the point where I can play it just for fun as opposed to competitively. And it is um, a golf course is like my happy place. It can it can take everything away and make me feel just super at ease and calm and happy. Um, so that I don't know that there is an answer to that, but that is my answer. <laughs> Great answer. Okay. You're way too good at this interview stuff. <laughs> I, uh, apparently, this is my next career. I know you two didn't know, but um, this is what I'll be doing in the future. <laughs> yeah. What do you miss the most about going to school every day? Um, the, the students, my students. Um, and not just my students, to be honest, like not just the ones that I have in my classes, but students, period. Um, you know, I, I don't think most of us that are in education do it just to teach the material every day. Like that, if I was just there to teach material, um, my life would be pretty boring and I probably wouldn't be um, a very good teacher. You know, what makes it all worthwhile are the students. Um, there can be a lot of other things involved in education, but at the end of the day, as long as all of you are there, it makes getting through a tough day much easier. Um, and although I do get to see you guys every once in a while on a Google Meet or during these interviews, uh, I just really miss interacting with people in the hallway and, you know, little things like people making fun of each other, you know, in a friendly way. Um, I think of like Gavin and Jared <laughs> um, or, you know, Gabby and everyone. <laughs> um, sure. it, it's, it's just that, that fun, friendly banter that goes on uh, in between classes or at the very beginning or the very end. It, you can't, you can't uh, replace that right now. And that I really, really miss. Great. So now just getting down to the dirty stuff, uh, who would play you in a movie? Oh, oh, man. <laughs> I do not know. Um, who, who would play me in a movie? Wow. Okay. Um, who? That is a tough question. I never thought it about it. It is a really it tough question. It should be a movie. I want to be, I want there to be a documentary about my life. Um, I actually just want cameras to follow me around all the time because I don't think they'd believe all the craziness. Um, who would play me in a movie? Um, I don't know that anybody. I can think of anybody that necessarily looks like me, but that's okay. Um, I would take um, Ellen has the humor that yeah. I try to go for a lot. So uh, I'll take Ellen as an answer for that. We do not look anything alike though, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> it's all good. It's acting. <laughs> that's what, that's what makeup is for, right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> The next question is, what 
was your favorite math class in school? Um, okay, so when I was in high school, this is going to date me right here, but there was not algebra, geometry, algebra two. Um, when I was in high school, we took sequentials, sequential one, sequential two, sequential three. And it was fairly similar to algebra, geometry, trig, or algebra two. Um, but there was a bit of a mixture within them. Uh, and sequential two was my absolute favorite. It was, it had the most geometry in it. Um, and it was taught by Mrs. Heffley, um, who was one of my two favorite math teachers ever. Um, so that I loved that class. All right, moving on. What did you play during recess as a child? Oof. Everything and anything, um, usually sports related. So um, down in the elementary school, we um, always used to play wall ball, um, like chicken, I guess. So back in the day, they would let us peg each other with balls and nobody <laughs> <laughs> nobody cared apparently. Like back the good then. old days, right? Um, remember, this was like late 80s. <laughs> or mid to late 80s when I was in the elementary school. So very different time. But that was our that was probably the thing we played the most. Uh, but then we would like throw around the football and stuff like that a lot also. Okay. How would you like to be remembered by the class of 2020? Um I'd like you all to remember me as the person who was able to guide you um, without forcing anything upon you. Um, I think advisors to me means someone to lead you in a direction but let you make your own decisions and sometimes let, let you make your own mistakes. Um, and I hope I've done that. Um, but at the same time, I hope that, you know, I didn't let you make too many mistakes um, or make them for too long. I hope that I was firm enough with you to keep you uh, in line. I'd like you to remember me as someone who was always, uh, there with an open door um, and just an ear to listen. Um, I'd like you to remember me as someone who might have taught math, but maybe made you enjoy it a little bit here and there, uh, even if you didn't like it. Um, and I hope that at this point, four years in, a lot of times freshmen especially will say, Miss Fuentes looks super scary. <laughs> um, and I hope that at this point you realize that, that, um, you know, I can be scary if I need to, but that's not really who I am. <laughs> Absolutely. I think you'll definitely hold a, a special place in all of our memories and in all of our hearts. Mm -hmm. I think you really made an impact on so. our class. I hope so. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, just to the class of 2020, um, it has been uh, an absolute pleasure being your advisor. Uh, I say it all the time that I probably will never be an advisor of a class again, um, maybe a co-advisor, but I probably will never take the entire thing on my shoulders again. It is not because of you. It's because it's just a very, very um, time consuming job and I'm already involved in a lot of things. So I don't know that I'll do it again, but it is, uh, the thing that makes me at least consider it is thinking about having another class that, um, is as much fun and most of the time as kind as all of you were. Um, I think my favorite memories are, the four years of color wars and um, the camaraderie that happened between this class during color wars um, is some that I don't know that I've seen um, honestly, since whew, the class that was that graduated right before you came to the high school. Um, 
and I, I just think you, you all are really good people. Um, I miss you very much. And I want you to continue to stay positive because that's what I keep getting from all of you during these interviews. Um, it's just a lot of positivity and, um, it's just, you're, you're all just still yourselves even during this really hard time. So I hope that stays that way. Um, and we will have all of the fun things that we can as soon as we can have them. Awesome. Thank you. Well, thank you guys for, um, doing the, running this interview. Um, I probably should have asked you the questions, at least some of them ahead of time. So I knew I could have thought about the person to play me in a, in a movie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm going to have a different answer in like two hours, probably. Yeah. Um, that's all right, though. But that's okay. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I very much appreciate the two of you. Um, and, and all our officers, but you know, the two of you have always been the first to run into my room and uh, be willing to help. So I appreciate that very much. We appreciate you. <laughs> thank yeah. you, thank you. Um, well, thank you for this again and enjoy the rest of your day. And everybody else, I'll be back with another 2020 Senior Spotlight very soon. Thanks guys. <laughs>